Hello, fellow tech pirates. Brandon here with the techpirate.net doing a little bit of a weird unboxing review. My child has had a smartphone for the better part of a year and a half. We've had a system that has worked uh, where the main operating system is locked down and the alloc uh, applications were relatively locked down as well but recently they've found a way around it and I've been threatening to get a dumb phone for the better part of the last two to three months and I finally pulled that trigger after a incident that will go without further explanation um, yeah uh, a little bit of background here is the phone that we are moving from a uh, nice Asus Zenfone uh, that was actually my daily driver uh, up until I switched to the Note 10 Plus uh, about a year and a half ago, which is when I got this phone. So, yeah, uh, you can tell it's a little beat up. A couple of cracks in the uh, screen protector. We'll fix that uh, once, once they've earned it back. But today with me is the blue blu uh, stands for bold like us uh, smartphones company which this is definitely not a smartphone this is definitely a dumb phone this is definitely a punishment phone uh, it could also be a good backup like emergency phone or uh, like a smartphone detoxing phone um, i've never really been one to believe in the detoxing but I also have never tried it. I might after this. I doubt it. But this is the uh, BLU or Blue A123G. Uh, sports a 1.8 inch display, color display, uh, VGA main camera with flash and video, 128 megabytes of internal memory and 64 megabytes of RAM. It does support a micro SD card slot up to 32 gigabytes, um, and it is GSM unlocked. Uh, it supports frequencies for 2G in the 850, 900, 1800, and 1900 megahertz range, uh, and 3G in 850 and 1900. This is supposed to be compatible with AT&T, which is our provider. Um, I'm hoping that that is so. I do have the SIM chip already pulled out and ready to be put into this new wonderful device. So go ahead and look at the box here a little bit and then open her up. So this little tiny thing we'll put aside for now. We have what looks to be a charger. I'm hoping that this is correct, that it is a micro charger, so that it's not some funky charger style. Yes, I'm sure the unboxing purists out there will just hate that I just ripped that open. Um, yep, that is a... I can't remember if that's micro or mini but it is a standard USB connection, which is great. It's a little disappointing that it's not just a, a USB wall wart that could be used for, you know, any kind of other phone that uses it, but that's all right. We will, oops, after I knock that askew. Sorry about that. We'll set that aside. Oh, looks like they gave us a little blue sticker. Here is the battery. And then some FCC information and the, ah, this could be important later on, the quick start guide. Let's see. Before powering on, charge 24 hours. Mm, no. Uh, let's see. Number two, insert SIM card. Hopefully it takes the micro SIM uh, GPRS setting information hopefully that will all go pretty easy fm audio player so i guess this also does support uh mp3 if if you wanted to load up a sd card with mp3s 
Um, we use Spotify. So for the two weeks that this phone will be in in my child's hand, there won't be music. Uh, and continue. Enjoy. Okay, let's get on to the enjoy part of that. Go ahead and pull this. Here, we'll, we'll open this one properly. All right. So this is a 600 milliamp battery, but since this is a dumb phone, um, it doesn't actually say how long the battery will last, but I would imagine it should last a day or two, at least, since there's not really any major functions. So now, we can go ahead and get to the juicy bit of the phone itself. So, again, comparison. That's what he was on. This is what they're moving to. Yes. It's very plasticky. Oh, the buttons are actually kind of... I don't know if that's going to come out since I, I do use RTX to try and drown out my server fans and computer fans and background noise. So, huh. Oh, that's interesting. I've already found one thing that's not the same on their packaging versus the website. So the website says micro SD card up to 32 gigs. The box and the phone say up to 64 gigs. Again, that feature is not something that we're going to be using on this phone um, as it is, again, you know, for punishment. Let's see, let's, how do we, uh-huh, yes, oh, that is a full-on SIM card, that is not even a micro SIM, I don't know, I've got some adapters in here. I don't know if I've got one that's uh, that size, though. Jesus. Well, let's see if we can just kind of fake it in there for now. Speed. Oh. Huh, huh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that might be contacting all those in there. Not fantastic, but that'll work. Ah, oh, look at that tiny little VGA camera on there. Isn't that so cute? Wow, that is a tiny little screen. I thought it was a little bigger than that. Let's see what happens. Oh, such a happy so sound. Happy little noise. Searching network, insert SIM 2. Let's see, what do we got here? We've got menu. So we've got messaging, contacts, call logs, FM radio, settings. Oh, there's games on it. Bubble party mix, pure jump. Interesting, mess with that later. 
organizer, multimedia, camera, calendar. Oh no. Why is there web? Why why would you include web on a dumb phone? Well, that does not make me happy. Granted, it's such limited usability. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hmm, registering. So, I wonder if this is actually going to work on AT&T. On the Amazon... So I guess that's something else I should talk about while this is uh, initializing. Yay, AT&T! Fantastic. Okay, so... On Amazon, currently, because I bought this on Amazon, uh, it is listed as of this video uh, for $19.99. So very, very inexpensive. Uh, The, you know, the two U.S. reviews... Wait, does that make sense? That doesn't make sense. Ah, I'll be darned. The two, like, written reviews, uh, one person used it on T-Mobile, and the other person is using it on Freedom Pop. So I was a little skeptical, but it does look like it's uh, potentially working. Let me pull it off screen, give myself a quick call. Calling works, which is fantastic. That is one of the only problems, though, is since all of his contacts are currently saved in um, on Google and not on the sim itself, because that's not really a thing anymore. Um, I'm going to have to go through and just program program some contacts up, but that shouldn't be too bad. There's only really six numbers that he needs. Um, alarm, which is great. Searching for, oh, FM. Okay, that's kind of cool. Now, that would require uh, headphones in. No, it doesn't? Oh, that's, uh... Let's see, let's... I mean, it's it's definitely a uh, old phone speaker sound. I mean, it's oh, how do you turn it off? There we go. That's cool that it's on there. I mean, again, I don't I don't think that he'll need that for any reason. But all right, let's uh. Oh, hey, that'd be an easy way to add me into here. Let's text him on my phone. Plus, that'll make sure that it actually functions correctly. Oh, hold on. I'm going to pull this off screen to send the text so that you guys don't see my number. I mean, I'm not famous or worthwhile yet, but one day I might be, and I don't intend on changing my phone number. Test. Yeah. Read. Test. Sweet. Reply. Oh. Hey, hey guys, I did a sneaky. So because it, 
only has the number pad. The only way to input is going to probably be old school. Let's see. Uh, yep. Hi, Dad. Send. Is it? Is it going to come across? There's text from him. Sweet. So texting works. Calling works. And yeah, let's uh, purely out of curiosity. Let's take a look at the different settings. Profiles, normal, silent, meeting, indoor, outdoor. Okay. Display, power on, off, display, wallpaper, idle display settings, screensaver settings, brightness, date, time. As yeah, wow, that is the right time. That is surprising. Phone settings, language settings, auto power on, off, power management, call settings. Dual SIM, call divert, call waiting, call barring, hide ID, others, connections, network account. Okay, so this would be where if you're having problems, you could manually set your uh, data roaming and, and you'd be able to select your network account. Security, pin, modify pin, phone locked. Modified privacy password. Restore factory settings. So the one thing that I was hoping to see in there was a way to lock down the web browser. But let's do T. H E T E C H God you you want to know how bad it is there was a time in my life where i could just text purely by feel that time was a long time ago tech P I R A T E. Uh oh, now which one of these is going to give me the symbols? Symbols. Let's see. Dot N E T. Dial failed. Interesting. So maybe, maybe because 3G really isn't a thing anymore. Maybe. Yeah. Close current page. Let me, let me try that again, where I can actually see it and type a little quicker. And we'll put the WW in there first. W, W, W. Dot. T H E T E C H P I R A T E. I go back. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh, okay. Clear. Clear just means it clears the next. It's like delete. Or, well, backspace. Rather than clearing everything out. Eh, no, clear, come on. N E T. 
Yeah, dial failed. Sweet. So, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Navigation. Back. Back. Close. Ugh. Okay, we're going to have to input the URL manually again. HTTPS. Is that going to work? 15 minutes later as I finish typing out. W, 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 no. Dot. T, H, E, T, E, C, H, P, I, R, A, T, E. Dot net. Okay, still getting dial failed, even with the HTTPS up there, the full www. Um, that would be awesome if that is, is how it's going to work for him. All right, let's just, for giggles, try Google. Gee. Oh, O, G, L, E, dot, C, O, M. Sweet, now I'll file it on that. So I would say that uh, whatever web browser protocol they're using on this like the actual communication to and from um yeah for for the actual data is not functional with at&t which is exactly what i need to be honest so no love lost there so yeah i mean overall honestly for 20 bucks i'm kind of impressed this this phone if if you figure back early 2000s, um, you know, as everybody was doing the, you know, Blackberries and Palm Pilots, I've actually got my Palm Trio 680 on the shelf up there and it still works. Um, you know, a phone like this around then would have probably been 60 bucks uh, with a two year plan or, you know, free with a two year plan, but then you're locked into the two year plan. So 20 bucks now for, for something that works. And, you know, I mean, honestly, even, even after, uh, my kiddo's punishment time with it is up, it will probably sit in a drawer and be a perfectly workable backup phone as a, as a just in case. Um, it may also go into a, a camping bag as a, as a just in case. Um, next time we camp, it's, you know, light i don't think it's going to break too easy i'll probably throw a screen protector on it just because that is definitely cheap plastic there but uh yeah all in all 20 bucks detox punish your child or first phone for your child i mean you know it doesn't have to just be for punishment maybe Maybe you've got a younger child who's asking for a, a cell phone and, you know, is, is a way to contact a family member in an emergency or a, hey, I'm waiting out here for pickup or whatever. It's not bad. Interested to see how uh, his uh, two weeks with this goes. I'll report back. Hope you all have a good rest of your day.